I'm Ryan Olson, member of the service team for Equipment Technologies. Today, we're going to take a look at some of the basic features and functions for the Viper Pro console. We'll review items such as basic setup, product control, AccuBoom, and AutoBoom. Let's check it out. First, we're going to set our guidance width and offsets for our Viper Pro. This is the home screen for the Viper Pro. To get to the guidance width, simply select the menu icon, setup, and boom. This will bring us to our boom setup screen. From the boom setup screen, we can set up our guidance width, our fore aft, and our left right offsets. We can also configure how many sections we have for each boom. We'll start at the top of the screen. Here's where we set our left right offset. On the Apache sprayer, our antenna is in the middle of the machine, therefore our offset is zero. To change this, simply select the left right offset box, enter in zero, and you now have your left right offset entered. To select your fore aft offset, simply select the box, hit your double arrows to clear it out, and we'll enter one, three, five, because our antenna is 135 inches in front of our booms. Now to enter the overall guidance width for our booms, we figure this number on the size of your booms. Therefore, if you have a 90 foot boom, you would take 90 times 12 to come up with a value of 1080. To select that box, simply press the box, hit your double arrow to clear out that box, select one, zero, eight zero and now we've entered in our overall boom width. We on this machine have five sections. We'll select our box, hit our double arrows to clear it out, select the number five for five sections. We have now set the overall width and all our four afts and the number of boom sections for this machine. Then simply select the next button and now we're going to enter our section widths. The boom section width is the number of nozzles per section multiplied by the spacing that you have the nozzle set at. This particular machine is set at 20 inch spacing. In this first section, I have nine nozzles times 20 inch spacing and I come up with a figure of 180. I'll simply select that block, hit my double arrows to clear it out, and enter 1, 8, 0. I have now set the section one width for my boom at 180 inches. I will then continue on down the line, entering each value in its proper box. Once I have that set, I will press the next button and come into my boom setup summary. This is where I will map my booms or assign a value for each number. This is how I would like my boom set up from left to right as one, two, three, four, and five. To map those booms automatically, you will hit your map booms button. That will bring you to this screen where you can change and assign each section number as you would like. They automatically go to one, two, three, four, and five as displayed. Simply hit the OK button to accept. Then hit OK to save it and return to your home screen. You have now successfully set up your booms. Now we're going to check out some of the product control features. Simply select the product control icon on the bottom of your screen. This will bring up your product control configuration screen. Now to set my application rate, I would simply come down here to my application information press in this box here and it will bring up my application configuration screen. I can now enter in my tank volume which on this particular machine is 1000 gallons. I'll hit my double arrows to clear it out. One, zero, zero, zero. I've now entered 1000 gallons for my tank volume. I can also set my rate cal. This is going to be my application rate for my jobs. I'll simply press the box, hit the double arrows, and I want to spray 10 gallons per acre. I enter 10, and now I have it set. 
Now I want to set my on-screen rate bump. This is a box located right below your rate cow. Simply press the box, hit your double arrows to clear it out, and enter in the value that you want to bump your rate up each time you hit the button. Once that number is entered, you now have it set. Simply hit OK to return back to your product control configuration screen. Now to set my low limit value, I will simply come here to the box that has the information for my low limit, low tank, and off rate percentage. Press anywhere in this box and it will bring you up to your alarms configuration screen. Here I can set my off rate percentage, which is the percentage that my rate can be off before it will give me an alarm. Here I have it set for 30%, meaning once I am 30% over applying or 30% under applying, my Viper will give me an alarm to let me know that's happening. Next we'll set our low limit value. A low limit is important for your spray pattern when first taking off in the row. What it does is it keeps your control valve from closing all the way so that it is already open supplying pressure to the booms as you begin to take off. You will actually over apply just a little bit as you begin to take off and get up to speed. You can adjust this number to make sure your spray pattern is consistent. To set your low limit, simply select the box, hit your double arrows to clear it out. In this particular situation, I'm trying to apply 10 gallons per acre. A good place to start that is just over half of your gallons per acre. So I will set that to 6 gallons per minute. I can then adjust this number as I begin to spray to make sure that I'm getting a constant spray pattern. Next, we'll set our low tank alarm. What this does is once my product tank reaches a certain level, it will notify me through my Viper Pro console that I have reached my low tank. I will then select my low tank, hit my double arrows to close it out. This particular machine is a 1,000 gallon tank. I would like to set my low tank limit at 200 gallons. Therefore, once I reach 200 gallons, my Viper Pro will notify me that I've reached this point. Press OK to accept those changes. Once done, press OK to return to your home screen.